Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand parallel mediation in a space as MS. In parallel mediation, there are two or more mediators involved, and each of them operates independently to mediate the relationship between the independent and dependent variable. Let's try to understand this concept from this diagram. X affects Y directly. X also affects Y through the indirect route M1 and M2. So, X influences M1, M1 influences Y. X influences M2, M2 influences Y. So, this is known as mediation. Let us take a layman example. A child wants to go to the picnic. The child is represented here as X. And the child has to convince the father, which is denoted by Y. So, the child can approach the father directly or the child can take the different routes. The child will approach first the mother, which is M1, and mother will convince the father to allow the child to go to the picnic. The another route a child can take is, the child will approach the grandfather, that is M2. The child will convince grandfather and grandfather will convince father. So this is the indirect effect. Now how we can do this, uh, do the parallel mediation? Let's see in a species MS. So, we will first import the data file and we will be working on imputed data. The very simple reason to work on imputed data is to avoid the complex models. How to impute the data file? I have already uploaded this video, kindly refer my playlist. So click OK. Talking about the serial mediation, this also I have discussed in my previous video, please refer it. Now click here. So I will have to uh, fetch the data, click OK and click here. Now these are all the imputed scores. So environmental perception, we will pick up the first thing, environmental perception of an employee and the staying intention of an employee in the company. So this is a direct effect. Now let's insert the mediators. Job satisfaction, one. Organizational commitment, two. And the behavior of the coworkers. So the environmental perception of an employee is directly affecting the staying intention of an, of an employee. Now there is an indirect channel or the mediators are also present. So let's connect this. Environmental perception affecting the job satisfaction of an employee, job satisfaction affecting the staying intention of an employee. Environmental perception affecting the organizational commitment of an employee, organizational commitment affecting the staying intention of an employee. Environmental perception affecting the co-workers behavior and the co-workers behavior affecting the staying intention of an employee. Now let's try to clean this model by this magic wand. Just click here and you will get a clean diagram. Now we will have to define the exogenous and endogenous variable. Environmental perception here is the exogenous variable as all the arrows are moving out from this construct. Job satisfaction and organizational commitment and co-workers is, uh, is an endogenous variable as the arrows are moving inside. Similarly, staying intention is also the endogenous variable. We know the prerequisite that whenever any variable or a construct is endogenous, we will have to place an error term on it. So, pick up the error term on it. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, we will have to name this error terms. So, go in plugins, name unobserved variables. We have got this error terms. Now, let's run the model. So, go in the analysis property, uh, click on output, standardized estimates, squared multiple correlations, indirect, direct and total effects, activate the bootstrapping, perform bootstrapping, uh, let's say we keep this as 2000, bias corrected confidence interval and close it and run the model. It will ask where you want to save this model. So, we will name this model as Parallel mediation. Save. Done.
Now you go in the output file from here. Click estimates, click scalars, uh, rather click on matrices. Now see the direct effect. Environmental perception is di and its direct effect on staying intention. Click on indirect effect. Environmental perception and its effect uh, and its effect on staying intention through indirect. That is through co-workers, organizational commitment, and job satisfaction. Now the total effect which is there is the summation of direct effect, this one, and the indirect effect. So if you do the total of direct effect 0.283 and indirect effect 0.176, you will definitely get the uh, total effect. Now let's talk about indirect effect again. So the staying intention here is uh, the, the environmental perception and its indirect effect on staying intention, the value is 0.176. Is it significant or not? Is this indirect effect, effect significant or not? So for this, you will click on bootstrap confidence, bias corrected, and click on two-tailed significance value. As this p-value is less than 0 0.05, we can definitely say that this indirect effect is significant. But there is one problem. The problem is that this figure 0.176, we got the summation of all the indirect effects that is through co-worker, through organizational commitment, through job satisfaction. But we are not able to assign that uh, the mediation or rather we want to estimate the value for, of the indirect effect coming from co-workers, organizational commitment and job satisfaction. So how to do this? So for this, again, we will go in canvas and I will name the paths. So click here, give the name A. For this path, give the name B. For this path, give the name C. Uh, or rather we keep the C reserve for the direct path. So remove the C from here. Normally, we keep C reserve for the direct path, C. Then activate this path, D. Don't use uh, E for naming the path because it is a system parameter and it will generate the syntax error. So please don't uh, use E. So instead of it, you can use K. And activate here, F and G. So my indirect effect is A into B, D into K, F into G. But I will have to create the estimates for it. So how can I create it? Click here. Define the new estimates. Wait for some time. A window will appear. Now you write a very simple syntax indirect effect 1 is equal to a asterisk b enter so a asterisk b so this is the mediation of the organizational commitment which we are trying to measure i e 2 is d into k this is for job satisfaction d into k i e 3 is equal to f into g f into g let us check it a into b d into k f into g now my total indirect effect is i e is i e 1 plus i e 2 plus i e 3 the total effect is indirect effect plus the direct effect which is represented by c plus c now click here to check the syntax when you get the message syntax is okay done now close this the last do you want to save it yes and you will give the name to this as parallel mediation
done. Now again run the analysis. Go in view text. Go in scalars and user defined estimates. Quite good. We got the effect of uh, indirect effect 1, indirect effect 2, indirect effect 3. But are they significant or not? That uh, p value we did not got it. It's quite simple. You will go in bootstrap confidence, bias corrected confidence interval, and activate two tail significance, and you will get the p value. Now we will have to uh, interpret this table. First of all, see the p value. All those indirect effect whose p-value is less than 0 0.05, it means that this indirect effect is significant. Again, I repeat, all those indirect effect whose p-value is less than 0 0.05 are significant. This is a one way of interpretation. The second way of the interpretation is the lower bound and the upper bound. See this, uh, see this value, it is positive. See this value, positive. So when lower bound is positive and the upper bound is positive, we can say that the indirect effect is significant. Again, see the lower bound. It is positive and the upper bound is also positive. It means that the indirect effect is significant. Let me copy this on the word file. So I have copied that uh, table in the word. When my lower bound is positive, let me increase the font size. When my lower bound is positive and my upper bound is also positive, this means that this effect, this indirect effect is significant. You will get the same result for p-value also. You can see here as the p-value is less than 0 0.05, our interpretation remains the same. The next thing, suppose the lower bound is negative and the upper bound is negative. This also means that the effect is significant so this is the second scenario third scenario if your lower bound is positive and the upper bound is negative or the lower bound is negative and the upper bound is positive this means that the effect is insignificant definitely you will get the p-value here to be more than 0 0.05 which means that the, this indirect effect is not significant you can also confirm this result see you got indirect effect 0 0.140 again go back on the canvas what is your indirect effect a into b just simply press this up arrow and if you multiply 0 0.84 into 0 0.17 definitely let me check you will get the same thing you will get the same thing Right. Make sure that the standardized estimates, just a minute. So uh, make sure what I was saying is that unstandardized estimates are on because at present what you have got is this unstandardized estimates 0 0.140, which is the multiplication of this into this indirect effect one. When you will multiply 0 0.20 into 0 0.06, this is indirect effect 2. So you will get this result. When you will multiply uh, 0.33 with 0 0.07, you will get this indirect effect 0 0.023. You can also estimate the indirect effect through plugins, which I have discussed in my previous video of serial mediation. Just activate the indirect effect plugin. And after activation, simply go into the plugin and press the indirect effect and you will get the output. So this was all about parallel mediation in SPSS MS. For more videos on SPSS MS, you can subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter. Please refer my playlist in which I have already uploaded many videos on SPSS MS. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press the like button and share the videos.